Raise your hand if you like Buddy the Elf. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Because he's the inspiration behind today's rock. I'm starting out with a chalk pencil and I'm lining out kind of a big triangle. This is going to be the shape of a Christmas tree, sort of just to give me a guide. And then I'm adding some elf legs and shoes and an elf hat, just like Buddy the Elf wears. And inside that triangular shape, we're going to put the words, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. And so I'm kind of lining that out also with the chalk pencil because it's just going to help me figure out what spacing I need and I want to switch between a print and a script. So this is just kind of lining it out before I come back in with the Thule Art acrylic paint pen in red. And so I'm kind of starting in the middle here. I want to get the Christmas and the cheer down because they're the biggest words and I want the spacing to be just right with those. So I'm starting there first. So in all of the script, I'm gonna come back and thicken the down strokes, and then the print is all gonna have kind of that lower crossbar font going on. So the H and the E, those crossbars are very low, which is just kind of the font pick that I chose for how I wanted to write these. And as I come back up and do the word spread, this is a good place to pause and talk about my mistakes with this rock. This is actually my second version of the rock because in the first version, I was writing the word spread and I had a spelling error, as you can see. And I went through the process of fixing it and finishing the whole rock, but I forgot to hit record to catch it all. So this is actually my second rock. And even though I don't have video to show you, I used this punch tool to scrape off the letter D so I could add an A before the D and then I used this nail buffer to kind of smooth out where I had scratched the stone and that fixed my problem. I just don't have video to show you but you guys really liked seeing my error fixes in the video the other day so I thought I would share that with you. Okay now back to the regularly scheduled programming. Let's look at the rock that this video is focusing on. The main reason that I'm jumping around and not just going solid straight from the top to the bottom is just because I want to make sure the spacing is good and so it is a little bit of a pain because I have to make sure I let things dry so that I don't stick my hand in it when I skip around. And the reason I chose to do a Buddy the Elf design is because Elf the movie is a family tradition for us. So we watch Elf every Christmas Eve without fail for at least the last 10 years. I don't know where we came up with it, but it's just kind of our family tradition. We watch it on Christmas Eve and we won't watch it at any point leading up to Christmas Eve. So anytime anybody feels like watching it, we're like, nope, we gotta wait till Christmas Eve. So Buddy the Elf is near and dear to our hearts. So I thought it would be fun to do a rock that he is the center theme of. So for now, I'm just gonna take some acrylic craft paints and fill in the various colors. So we've got yellow leggings, his suit and his hat are green with some yellow. So I'm just gonna fill those in and kind of make them soft wherever they're near the writing so that it looks like they're kind of just extensions of the saying that's written on the rock. I also waited till all the writing was dry and then I took a dry and also a damp paper towel and just removed any of the chalk pencil that was still showing after I got the writing on because the spacing did change a little bit and then there's that outer triangle that I want to make sure is not on the rock when I go to seal it.
this bottom part where I'm showing a little bit of overhang of his kind of elf jacket, I added a little bit of Liquitex gesso um, on the part that's overlapping onto the yellow tights because I wanted to make sure the yellow was covered good enough when I go for the green because the green kind of overlaps just the plain Santorini stone and the leggings. So that's why I put the gesso on there just to allow it to have a nice full coverage. We can't forget the little red feather in Buddy's elf cap and then also a nice outline of the hat and the bottom half of his body. So I'm using a 0.5 uni pin fine liner pen to do this. It gives just the perfect amount of definition and I don't know if you can see it or not but it actually had just started snowing when I went outside to get this final look. Thank you so much for stopping by to celebrate the 10th day of Rocksmiths. Don't forget to watch day 11 next. Take care and I'll see you next time. <music>